Some mysteries have gotten clearer and more understandable with age. Others have vanished without a trace, and today beholds one such example. I am a massive Dot Hack fan. In 2016, I was introduced to the series after discovering the first game, Dot Hack Infection, in a CEX store around the time of my birthday. I fell in love with the series around that time, and I became a fan, thanks to that chance encounter. During my playthrough of the games, I grew to become familiar with the characters, the story, the setting. By early 2017, I had become a hardcore Dot Hack fan, and while I would end up having a dry spell with the series for a little while until I got to the next installments after the main four, my love for the series would never truly fade. It actually led me to a site that would boggle my mind and leave me with too many unanswered questions. HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com A site with barely anything on it. A logging prompt. A password prompt, inaccessible on every single attempt. It used to be up until sometime around 2017 to 2019, where the site faded not only into further obscurity, but was completely missing. It vanished from the internet, and I only managed to stumble across this enigma again after searching for my old comments on Reddit. What is the strange enigma of HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com? What was contained inside? Who made it? Join me and Patch Blob as we dive into a mystery that deserves to be shown to the world. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's go! Everything has a root origin. This site certainly does, but it's very much hazy. Within the context of .hack as a whole, Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground is a location within the series that holds secrets and serves as an important location. In the first game, Infection, it serves as the crucial location where the, where the protagonist receives the core ability, Data Drain, to fight against glitched enemies and monsters and to unlock new locations. In the sequel series, GU, it's where the protagonist is attacked by Tri-Edge, an antagonist. It also serves to be a location where in the Dot .hack anime, Sign, the plot significantly intensifies. Without spoiling too much of the series, it serves as a crucial point in the games and the animes. It's a unique location in that it lacks purpose, other areas are designed for exploration and for being hubs, but this one leads to nowhere. It's empty which is what makes this site, seemingly named after this oddity of a location in the series, even stranger. Although, with the information I've found, it does reveal more about this enigma of a site. Starting off, my idea was to create a distinct timeline of events. After all, with a timeline, more information could possibly be gained as a result. I attempted to load the site on the 28th of October 2019, to which I expected there to be no results, and my idea was confirmed when it led to a dead site. So my idea was to turn the clock back and find the first point in which I could find that proves that the site existed in any particular year. Putting the URL into the Wayback Machine to look for archived pages, I was successful. According to the Wayback Machine, there were 39 total pages saved between 2011 and 2019. I did a quick search through said pages, to which there were virtually no changes. The appearance of the site remained the same all throughout, which indicates that the site has been deliberately left that way or is abandoned. With the earliest page being in 2011, I headed to that particular page. While I would have been fine to end my research at this particular point, there was an incredibly noticeable clue that was hiding in plain sight that indicated that 2011 is not the root origin of this site. It didn't begin here. V2.1 V2.1 Version 2.1. This was possibly it. This was the possible indication that 2011 was not the beginning of this site's existence, although I can't confirm it. With this being apparently the second version of the site, it means that there could have been a previous version at some point that was unable to be archived before 2011. 
However, we don't know this, so 2011 is the oldest point that we can find. Taking into account that Dot .hack is a series from the early 2000s, and with the rise of websites beginning to evolve, and with the series becoming larger in popularity, not to mention the image on the site of HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com being that of the area within the original Dot .hack series, it can be presumed that this site was created sometime around the 2002-2007 era, although I would presume around 2004 personally. It would be strange for this site to be made in the 2010s, as by that time, Dot .hack had died down in popularity. The series was extremely dead. Placing the URL into Google search and manually going through each page, I was not able to find any pages that indicated a particular year or date in which the site was made. All references I was able to find usually speak of the secrets that Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground holds within the original Dot .hack series, aka the game. Well, with a basic timeline in place, what did the website actually contain? It was around the early 2010s in which the site was caught in the sights of people on 4chan, specifically X, the paranormal board. Taking a look at a search through 4chan archives, the interest from X based around the site stemmed from around the 2011 to 2013 year point with 2013 being the most prominent date that I could really dig up. It was thanks to 4chan that we would get the most details about the site, and potentially, what it contained. Looking at one such thread, started in September 2013, according to the poster, the poster tried to input different words into the login and password prompts of the site, implementing the words robots, null, and Clue reportedly gave back hostile answers, talking about how stupid the user is. Other words like hacker and admin as well as less than civil words ended to give out similarly hostile responses, apparently the response to these words being, hey, watch it from language, or you should grow up, etc. I attempted to replicate such responses from an archived version of the site, but Due to the site being down in the current year and the only archives being that on the Wayback Machine, and since the Wayback Machine is unable to archive everything related to the site, I was unable to receive these responses back, although I uh, kinda wish that I had. But with these responses having been archived in the spread, it spoke volumes for the kind of detail that had truly been implemented. There was a level of care that the creator of the site, or whoever was in control of it, had for it. Moving on, the poster would describe more details that they had dug up. For one, a person was now connected to the site. According to the poster, a person that is linked to the site goes by the username of Leet Master. Doing digging, OP managed to find Leet Master on two other sites, Gaia Online and forums for a site called Megatokyo. Checking both links out myself, I found that only one of these sites still worked, Gaia Online. Going through the page, I found a comment by Leap Master, which gave a good indication as to who this person was and what they were like, keeping this in mind for later. What the hell? Why do you people message me? I don't know you. Go away. I don't even log on anymore. How do you find me? Do I have some kind of loony magnet on me? Do I have a sticker on my forehead that says, talk to me? No, so shut the fuck up and get the fuck out. And no, I don't want to cyborg with anyone, so either learn to BIOS or call my phone, damn it. Goodbye. Moving back to the thread, I stumbled across a particular comment that claimed to link to a web page that contained the password and logging to the site. Unfortunately, the page on the site in question has since been lost to time, and a page been contained on the thread which had an archived version of said site lacks it as well. This link connects to a site which seems to be centred around a tattoo business. This information was discovered by Anons who searched for usernames in the source code, finding this. HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com was connected to a site for tattoos in a strange turn of events. Doing some digging, I found that this site in particular, ancientarttattoo.net, predates the Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground site 
in its entirety. The earliest archive page listed as 2003, with the business itself beginning in 1994. At this point, I was incredibly confused, so I searched through more 410 archives and I found a far old thread, May 2013. According to this thread's poster, there had been a spike in the interest of digging into this site, although what they are referring to here is unknown as I am unable to find any sort of threads prior to this date. However, it would be in the thread that things would take an incredibly strange turn. According to the OP, HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com had ties to a site called Strange.com. Accessing it nowadays leads to a dead link, but by placing it into the Wayback Machine and trying to search for an archive page, it reveals that unlike HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com, this site had been around since 2000, which predates all known archive pages of ancient tattoo art.net. Trying to access the page from that point in time, it said that authorization had failed, and this makes sense. In the 4chan thread, the image provided to start the thread off showed a tab that, lo and behold, just like HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com, required a logging and password in the exact same way. Heightening the uncanny connection between the sites even more, Strange.com is apparently connected to something called Strange Inc, which is apparently a tattoo related website, just like the site found in the source before digging into HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com, AncientTattooArt.net. The OP of the thread found this within the source code of the site. Note to self, logging and password can be found here, which linked to the tattoo site from before. Every site seems connected. And this is where things become even stranger. In this exact same 4chan thread, it had been revealed that a group of .hack fans on an entire different forum had been interested in the case of HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com years ago, and thus decided to investigate. Attempting to get into the site, they tested around with emailing an email connected to the site and logging in several times. Testing what words did not get them into the site, this sparked the attention of the webmaster, whoever it was behind the site, potentially Leapmaster, to change the source code of the site in a clear move directed at the people trying to get in. Note to all hacker wannabes, this line had been added within the source code due to the group of fans who were trying to use robots for the name and password respectively. This was not the only thing the webmaster had done. Apparently annoyed at the amount of traffic the site had been receiving and the people trying to get in, the webmaster changed the site so that with any attempt at a login that proved to be incorrect, it forwarded the user to a site that was maliciously set up to spam pop-ups, crashing the web browser. In the words of a user here, the webmaster indirectly communicated with us like this to make us get the hint. New users weren't welcome. With users unable to get into the site and with interest dwindling, HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com fell into obscurity and the site remained virtually unchanged for years. A site, named after one of the strangest, most unknown and downright uncanny locations within the .hack series and video games in general. A site which can seemingly contained something. A site which was never accessed and controlled by a mysterious webmaster that acted hostile towards those who tried entering. It's prime material for the internet to become fixated on, hyper fixated on for myself. All for the sake of a mystery. Since this site has odd history to it, it's hard to really grasp how active it really was. And since it's gone, I cannot determine that either. Which is why I can only propose speculation since there's nothing more to it now. 
One observation that stuck out to me was the strange timeline of this hall. The business of ancient tattoo art was founded in 1994, according to the site, but the site itself seemingly originates from around 2003. Strange.net seemingly originates from around 2000, which has connections to Strange Inc., which shares an immediate similarity to HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com with the login and password system. And to make things even more convoluted, HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com references ancient tattoo art in its source code. This is too convoluted to be a planned ARG. Digging into the source code, the weird connections between each site, it seems unplanned if this was an ARG, or it was abandoned. The person behind HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com also behaves opposite to someone who would be wanting to get people interested in an ARG, Leapmaster, who is apparently the webmaster of HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com, the person in the Gaia Online message. And when thinking of the actions against the people trying to get into the site, it seems incredibly hostile, which makes very little sense if this was an ARG, because they would be calm in trying to interest people with the narrative they want to create. The only other explanation that I have is that this is a side project from someone who was a fan of .hack, but it was abandoned midway through production. It was later rediscovered by X and 4chan, and once people began forming connections which could lead back to Leapmaster's real-life operations, as someone who worked in the tattoo industry, they became hostile and attempted to stop people from potentially exposing their identity on the internet. So that which I say I understand, but Sadly, with HiddenForbiddenHolyGround.com being no more, and with no word from Leapmaster, this mystery has since faded away. A site which leads users to a rabbit hole of strange information. A site that has never been fully unlocked and the contents have never been seen. Truly. It is an enigma that while we may never get a full explanation for, speculation can fill in the gaps. What is made in the past can never be forgotten. Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground lives on. The fragments of it are all that remain.